hello guys and welcome back to this video so in today's video tutorial i'm going to walk you step by step on how to get a funded account with the hyro trader platform all right so the first thing i want to do is to come to the crypto pro trading firm once i over over it, you see all of these different options right okay so we we'll have start it um you know trading demo and then we'll have the start trading real account the one i've been doing is the start trading demo all right briefly let me explain how this thing works okay there is a stage of evaluation now you don't just come in and then the these guys will just hand over their money to you to start trading they need to evaluate what you can do to know that you can actually trade okay now that stage of evaluation the first phase of it is that you do 10 percent of whatever capital you're buying all right and you can buy from as low as five thousand dollars to as high as a hundred thousand dollars right so the second phase of the evaluation is five percent so in all you need to do just 15 percent to pass that stage of evaluation and after that you get funded in life account all right so in both the you know um start trading real account and then the start trading demo account they are all the same thing right you they have is a, a, a two phases of evaluation before you get a real account but in the case of the start real account option let me just open this one in a new tab and then open the real account on this one okay so if i go ahead and click on the start trading real account option let me just show you what is available right here so this is the start real account option and right here what hyrule trader is saying is that uh that trade directly on your own bybit account with real capital and earn rewards for your trading then hyrule will copy your trades with up to a hundred thousand in capital all right so and then you get to share the profit split up to 90 percent right so that's basically it if i go ahead and click on the get started right this is these are the only option that you have with the real account you can either buy you know uh, a 25k account a 50k account or a 100k account so any of this one that you want you go ahead and click on get started and um, you proceed with the payment okay why for the demo trading option okay you can start from as low as 5000 to as high as a 100k so here the evaluation phase you trade on a demo account okay you don't trade with your own money you trade on a demo account once you do 15 percent that is 10 percent first phase five percent second phase once you do 15 percent in that first uh that demo account okay you get funded in life account why here you are trading you need a minimum of hundred dollars on your account okay to start trading and once you do that 15 percent that 10 percent first phase second percent um second phase five percent okay you get funded a live account okay and then hyro will equally be copying your trades and whatever profit you make you you know get to share with them and all of that all right guys so that's basically that's for the real account here they will copy your trade okay and then here you will get funded all right and all of that so which one do you want which one do you want us to go with okay let me go with the demo account all right let me just go with the demo account i'll show you how that works in a moment all right so i'll basically go ahead and um click on this 100 key option click on get started guys all right so once we click on the get started option it brings us to this page okay so we need to create an account right here, okay so you fill in your name your first and last name you select your country okay put in your phone number and then put in your email and then you select your payment method all right so i'm going to do the pay by crypto you can do pay with card as well and then you go ahead and check this option that i've read and agreed okay and you go ahead automatically the coupon code is applied okay automatically the coupon code is applied you can see the coupon code right there is automatically applied for you all right so you go ahead and place the order so i'll just fill in this information and then once i click on place order i'll show you what to do in the next step all right so here we are on the next stage okay so we are going to choose how we want to pay now we selected crypto okay so you can select the way you want to pay you have bitcoin tether usdc okay it all of these different payment option right you can see the equivalent of what you should be paying if you choose to pay with any of this all right so just, let's just go with the tether option go ahead and select that and then you can select the network all right so you uh see if you select ethereum this is what it will be if you select Troon, okay this is what it will be for arbitrum arbitrum one okay which is faster this is what you're paying and then for polygon this is what you are paying okay so uh which one should we select right here let's go with the arbitrum one which is faster and then automatically okay this code uh this qr code will be generated for you right 
so you can equally show the arbitrum one address okay just show the address and then right here you can copy the address okay so you copy the address send the exact amount all right and then click on the pay with usdt option all right so you can scan this you have 30 minutes to do this okay so you can scan this and once the payment is sent automatically this will be verified for you because this address is just specifically for you all right so let's see how we can proceed with that guys now to be able to make this payment all right so we go ahead and open up our bybit app all right we'll open bybit app and then we we'll go to asset once we go to asset you want to click on the withdraw option and then you select the usdt since it's usdt we are paying with okay or you can select any of the asset you want to pay with all right so once you select usdt the next thing you want to do is to select the network all right so arbitrum one is the network option we selected so i'll select arbitrum one and then right here on where it says paste address i can just go ahead and copy and paste this address right here, okay so where it says show address you can just copy it i will now copy and paste the address all right guys so once you select the payment method i did usdt once you are here make sure you are on the on-chain um, you know withdrawal option then the next thing you want to do is to paste the address that we copied, okay, from Hyro Trader, then select the network. I selected Arbitrum 1 because it's faster and equally cheap for me, okay? And then the amount is actually 509.53, so I just approximated it to 54 so that we don't have issue. Okay, then the next thing you want to do is to select the wallet where you have your funds, if it is spot or funding, which is uh, what I just did right here. And that's basically that. As you can see here, the final amount there is about five o nine point, you know, five four. All right. So we'll go ahead and click on the withdraw option. Then right here, you want to confirm that the address is the same thing that you copied. Okay. So make sure that you confirm that this address is the same, most especially the last part and then the first part here. Okay. So we can confirm that this address is the same thing. Yeah. A52 C2 and all of that. So yeah, that's confirmed. Then you go ahead and click on you know confirm and then you go ahead and put in you know get code and then paste your authenticator and you're good to go. All right, and that's basically it. Okay, so the withdrawal has been done successfully. If I come back to Hyro Trader, all right, so you just need to wait a bit, okay. Um, once you come in here, once the withdrawal is done successfully, all right. So you just need to wait a bit you can see that it has been confirmed that payment has been made all right and um, that's basically it okay so you can go back to the merchant by clicking on this option to go back to the merchant option all right and that's basically right okay so that's basically how you make your payment so once you finish sending you just need to wait make sure you leave this window open don't close it all right and this will automatically confirm your payment so once we click on the go back to mission option you can see that our order is pending okay so uh you can join uh, their team of successful traders on the discord and um, to learn more on that option okay so let me just click on the you know uh, my account option right here okay so i'll just click on the my account option let's see what's going on there uh, remember when we were creating this account we only set up uh, added our email right we didn't set a password so now it will not ask you to set a password go ahead and set a password that you can use to log into your account right here after that click on set password and you can see that i have successfully logged into my account and you can see okay the account that we bought now it says um, one stage which is the first phase of the challenge all right so you can see the challenge amount right here and the status is ongoing now what we need to do is to connect our bybit account okay what we need to do right now is to connect our bybit account I already did a video on how to connect your account so if you click on the connect bybit account option right here so what you do now request for is your api key and then your secret key and the next thing i want to show you is how to create this key okay i would have done that on bybit using the web but some of you you know get confused and all of that those of you are using your phone so the previous video I did on how to connect your API and secret key, I used my, you know, the browser using the web version of Bybit to generate that API key. So this time around, I want to show you how to generate that API key using, you know, your phone. All right. So right here, you equally see the Hyrule Trader equally created a video on how to do all of this. Okay. But their own video was equally a web version. So I want to show you how to create this API key. Okay. Using, you know, the mobile app all right using your phone 
okay so that's the next thing we want to do right now and then we'll go ahead and copy the api key and then the secret key and paste them here and go ahead and click on connect to buy bit all right guys so here i am on my app okay so here for this okay we're going to use a browser and i'm using my chrome browser right here okay you can use any web browser don't use the buy bit app all right use a browser because on the app you cannot create api um on the app okay so um once you're on the browser the first thing you want to do okay there are three dots okay at the top right okay the top right of your browser click on those three dots right there now once you click on those three dots okay you scroll down here you see where it says desktop site okay make sure that this is enabled by default it will be you know the mobile responsive version of the website but click on desktop site and you will see that it will open up the website in a desktop version with this tiny text on the screen. Okay. So once you do that, all right, the next thing is to log into your Bybit account inside that desktop version that you just created. Okay. Now for this funded account, I'm doing it on a sub account. All right. You can do it on your main account, but I'm doing mine on a sub account. Okay. So to create a sub account, the first thing you want to do, I'm already on a sub account. Okay. Right here, you see that the account I'm logged into, which is the one I want to use, is a sub account already. So to create a sub account, you can just go ahead. Let me switch to my main account, then I'll create a sub account for you to see, okay? So I can just click and hold my profile icon for like two seconds, okay, to bring in the menu for me. Once this pops up, okay, just go ahead and click anywhere to, you know, take it off the screen. Now, this is my account, all right? So what I can do is I can click on the account switch option to switch to any of these accounts right here. So let me go ahead and do that. So once I'm here, I'll go ahead and click on the main account to switch to the main account. Okay. So I'm now back to, yeah, I've switched to, uh, to the main account already. Okay. Now the sub account will be created from the main account. Okay. So if I come back here, let me just go back to that profile icon again. Let me zoom out here. Now, if I come back to the main account, which is what you see right here, okay, I'll click and hold on it again a bit, all right, sorry, and then this will pop up, okay, so just click anywhere for this to go off. Now, remember on the sub account, it only says switch account, but here on the main account, you see switch create, okay, if you don't have a sub account already, you equally see this option where it says, you know, um, create a new account, okay, so go ahead and click on that option. And once you click on it okay it brings you to this page right i have a whole lot of you know sub accounts here i'm going to use one of these but once you click on it it brings you here all you just need to do is to go ahead and click on the create an account uh, sub account option so go ahead and click on create and once you click on create okay here it will bring you to this page all you just need to do is to name your sub account make sure it is a unified trading account okay because that is what hydro trader supports all right and then right here, if you want a password to log into that account, you can go ahead and check this option, okay, and turn that on. But I don't want the password. So once you just put in a name here, you just go ahead and click on confirm and automatically a sub account will be created for you. And you can use that sub account to, you know, do whatever you want to do. Okay, you can transfer funds from main account to sub account and all of that. Maybe we'll do that in a separate video. But this is basically how you create a sub account all right so i already have an account a sub account that i'm going to use okay so i'll just close this and go to one of those sub account and i'll be able to create the api key showing you how to do that all right guys so right here you see that i've successfully switched to a sub account okay now for this evaluation phase we are doing that on a demo account okay so the api key we are going to create will be on a demo account all right so what I want to do is to click and hold on that profile icon and it will bring up this detail. See that it is a sub account that I switched to. Okay, so it will bring up these details right here. So the next thing we want to do is to click on the demo trading. All right. So once you click on it, scroll down and click on that demo trading. So that will automatically switch us through the demo trading interface. All right. Now, once you click on the demo trading, it brings you to this trading interface. Don't worry. Okay. Um, it's fine. All right. It's still fine. But now we need to create an API key inside this demo account. Okay. So I'll just, um, you know, zoom out again. Okay. Now, once I zoom out, all right, I'm going back to the profile icon again. All right. So you just click and hold on it a bit, uh, like a second or so. Once you do that, you see the option we have asset orders and then API. So go ahead and click on the API option. 
And once you click on the API option, it brings us automatically to this API management interface. And you can see up there that it is demo trading. Okay, so the first evaluation phase, once again, I cannot overemphasize this, is on a demo account. All right. So now that we are here, next thing we want to do is to go ahead and click on, you know, create new key. Just go ahead and click on that. All right. And then this dialog box pops up. Now, once this dialog box pops up, you see where it says system generated API keys. Okay. That's the one we want to use, not the self generated API keys. Okay. So click on the first one that says, system generated api key click on that so once you are here okay um first you want to give your api key a name so we can go ahead and say um what do we give this high row okay we can just give it high row okay and um the next thing we want to do is to make sure that you select the read write option okay and um you scroll down here you want to select unified you know trading and then the next option select asset okay once you select all of these options, um, the next thing you want to do is to go ahead and click on uh, this option that says submit. Okay, so go ahead and click on the submit option. And that is basically it. Okay, guys, the API key has been created successfully, as you can see right here. Okay, I'm not going to review the API keys to you. So now this dialog box that pops up, okay, has your API key and your secret key. Okay, that's what you're going to copy to paste on the account once you click on the connect by bid account. Okay. So it has your API key and your secret key, all right? Don't close this dialog box yet. Copy the API key and the secret key somewhere safe before you close it. Because once you close it, you will no longer see the secret key. So you need to create an, an, another key, all right? So let me just quickly do that. Then we can go to buy, uh, to Hyro Trader and connect our Bybit account. All right, guys. So here I am, okay, on the Hyro Trader platform. So right here, you can see that what it requires is that API key we just created from Bybit and then the secret key. So I'll go ahead and put those details here and then go ahead and click on connect, okay, to proceed. All right. So um, the account has been connected successfully, right? So you can see right here. So my account has been connected successfully to, you know, um, Bybit, okay? And now um, I will not go to the Bybit demo account, okay, to see what has, you know, transpired there, all right? So you can click on the show details option to see those details, okay? So right here, you will see, okay, um, the balance is not showing yet, okay? We just connected the API key. Just give it like five or ten minutes and then refresh this page and you'll be able to now see all of those details, okay? So every other details that I'll show you, maybe um according to the progress of this account in subsequent video and all of that i just wanted to show you how to get this it's as simple as that right you see that we made payment we've connected api key and all of that so the balance on our demo account will be reset to 100k and that is what we'll be using to trade okay so i'll update you all in the next video and all of that so that's basically it, uh, how you get the account okay how you connect your api how you create api with bybit okay and then connect it to the hero platform and all of that so all we need to do right now is just 10 percent okay um in the first phase then five percent in the second phase then we'll get funded the live account and we can start trading with it okay i hope this video is helpful smash that like button and if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe okay and you want to join this challenge okay you want to join us in trading this um you know funded account i have a community that i'm working with okay we we'll send you the signals we we'll tell you when to enter when to exit and we are trading together we want to pass the funded account together and we are doing all of this together i'll see you guys in the next video okay bye bye for now